Good morning, everybody. It's good to be with you again. For the first few weeks of the, this little series I'm doing on beginnings and endings, then we looked at some of the history books of the Old Testament. We looked at Genesis and Judges. Last week, we paid a bit of attention to the first and last verses in the book of Psalms. Today and for the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at some of the prophetic books of the Old Testament. I love the Old Testament prophets uh, because their prophecies came true. They were genuine prophets. And I think that for people who are beginning to think about whether God could really be real, then looking at some of the prophecies that are made about Jesus, about the temple, about the nation of Israel, I think they're quite persuasive arguments that God really is real and really can tell people what the future holds. But anyway, today we're going to be looking at the book of Ezekiel. And the first verse of Ezekiel reads this. In the 30th year, in the fourth month of the year, on the fifth day of the month, as I was among the exiles by the Cabo Canal, the heavens were opened and I saw visions of God. Now did you notice how specific that was? The 30th year, the fourth month of the year, the fifth day of the month. In our modern calendar, it was uh, means that Ezekiel was prophesying around the end of July uh, 593 BC. And he says that he is by the Kaba Canal. That was one of the canals in Babylon. So this is rooted in history it's rooted in a specific time in a specific place these prophets and the prophecies that they had aren't just mythic legends or fairy stories plucked out of the air they genuinely happened in real time to real people now i mentioned just now that the uh, the prophecy took place when ezekiel was by the caber river the caber canal in babylon and he said, didn't he, that he was with the exiles there. The reason that he was with the exiles in Babylon is because the Babylonian Empire had conquered Israel and had brought a lot of the people there into exile in Babylon. They were removed by force by an invading army. But notice what he says. In that time... In those circumstances, the heavens were opened and he saw visions of God. Even in exile, God could break through. Now, there was a time when people thought that each nation had its own unique God. And those gods were kind of geographically constrained. But Ezekiel's prophecy shows that God isn't limited by place or by time or by circumstances and this shouldn't really be a surprise to anyone you may remember in the very first of the series that i did on genesis chapter 1 verse 1 then i mentioned that you know, god created time and space and matter so why would he be restricted by time or space or matter the good news that we can take from today's first verse is that whatever our circumstances whatever our position whatever our location god can break in he can break into those circumstances and give us a fresh vision of himself and that can give us a true sure hope in him through jesus you take care god bless i'll see you soon